whenever I go to your house, you all hate on me because of who I am. It's not my fault that I'm like this. Welcome back to Slumber Party. Oh, 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 Model, actress, and a successful uh, producer director, Farah Shamrock. Enough of all this bullshit. And my name is Vanna Miss Joking, and today we are the modest House of Miss Joking. Yes, I'm Harry. So everybody. So everybody. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Harry Raya, who here? Likes Hari Raya. Me, because yeah. I like the guy. Oh. I'm from older men. <laughs> <laughs> a woman. <laughs> You still get Ampaw at this age? Eh? Where is the... Ampaw, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Green packet. Uh, do you still receive Ampaw? Of course, I'm forever 21. Same lah. <laughs> oh, you? No, I must give her. Uh, but okay. then I like skip. So I don't deserve it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so that means, this year I believe all of us are expecting to receive yeah. the Raya from... Madaw. What? Madaw. What? Yeah. She's oh, getting richer. Hey, because they say once you marry, got job, must give for you. I give married, accessories, I give some of my costume. That one not enough. Ah. Every year, man. Different. It's not right year. Ah, uh, um, no, cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything that we hate about Hari Raya? Hmm. I mean, there's a couple of things. There are a couple of things. Okay. What about you? What's it? I will start with the preparation part, mm -hmm. especially going to the bazaar. You will not see me there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the bazaar. I don't know. It's so you crowded. Hate the bazaar. Not bazaar. any bazaar. Any bazaar. Any yeah. Bazaar. I just don't like to go to crowded places. Uh. that's me. That's the preparation. Very crowded now. <laughs> because I'm beside you. <laughs> What? I look very crowded. Yeah. Then that one is what? Oh. <laughs> that is a commotion, darling. <laughs> Lisa, she went to the bazaar to buy the baju. The fabric not enough. So, yeah. come on, Leo. <laughs> My boss are folding into two. <laughs> so, yours is just preparation. The preparation. After that, the celebration is everything. I don't think there is anything that I dislike except for like the crying and the ma -ma -ma fun part. La. That oh. one I don't like. La, because I always cry. So, you don't like the emotional part? I don't like. I don't like to show my vulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> I know that English, right? Yeah. Vulnerability. Very wow. good. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank After you. what? How many years? After six yes. months break, <laughs> yeah. she took some English classes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, I hate... Uh, I hate my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to... To act as if like I'm straight in front of them because like I have to, you know, my voice is not straight already, right? So, but then I have to act straight because uh, it's like I'm representing my family name lah. Yeah. So because they don't know like who am I, so usually I don't talk. Yeah, with my cousins. Anybody else straight acting during high Raya? Uh no. no. As in uh no, I just be myself. Same like, for her Raya, I mean, one thing, hate is a strong word. I don't really like, I mean, back then, yeah, when we were young, we go to our aunt's place and uncle's yeah. place, we want to receive the green packet, right? Uh, we said uncle, green packet, whatever. Shit you call it, la. So it's like, it's always that feeling of just coming together and seeing your cousins. Um, It's a very happy mm. moment. Mm -hmm. It's a very happy situation. And then, mm. you, you know, you play with each other and everything. Play with each other. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what kind of celebration is to celebrate, but <laughs> privately, I never play with anyone. No, <laughs> play with each other. La. Yeah, as right kids, as kids. Yeah, as, as kids. So, but when as I grow older and it's just more tense and then there, there are these kind of serious questions because they, they know who I am. Like, they know what I do outside. So, they're like, you know, you got to stop all this, blah, blah. It's not good for you. Um, It's just very like, I do not want to engage in these kind of conversations because you do not understand the craft that I'm doing, the, the art, art that I'm doing. So it's, it's no point explaining, especially to the older generations. And the, yeah, it's just, that's, that's the part that I don't hate, but I dislike. So I 
disengage myself from that. So I just visit, you know, like after me and my mom and then with my whole family, we spend time together and then I just go to my favorite aunt's place. That's it. Yeah. Think for, for me, it's it's a love hate because over the years, there's too many changes. So I had to like, my high raya had always been different. Like first it's like last time, it's always very joyful. It was very simple because I think we were younger and then like there's not there's not much that w- me or my sis had to think or do. We just get the baju, go out, celebrate, makan, get money, happy. But as we grew older, um, there's a different part to play, especially after my dad passed and then my sister went for her long-term vacation. I sort of had to become the father figure of the family. Yeah, it's not that I wanted to or had to, but it just so happened that I, I just felt like it was a need to do so because we had uh, my niece. So I wouldn't say that I forced myself to be straight acting, but it just became like during Hari Raya, I had to be the man of the family, you know? But dressing-wise, I don't give a shit. Lah. I still, I choose pink. I choose all the colorful stuff. You wear like this. Yeah, I go out like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Family of girls, <laughs> but I'm the father figure. <laughs> <laughs> Confused. Yeah. So I I don't know. Like uh, my sister is back from her staycation, so I guess things might be slightly different. Like even at home now, things are a little bit different because like I'm no longer um, as interactive with Inda as before because I want her to make up for the time, so I don't get involved as much. So I feel like this year's Raya is going to be very different again. Mm-hmm. So yeah, love it lah. Different in a good way or a bad way? Um, there's good and bad. Like the good part was back then, like before my dad passed, the memories was more positive, I guess. So after he passed, then everything just went haywire because there was just so much drama. That we'll talk about on another episode. But um, yeah, then my sister's episode came. So there was just too many drastic changes that happened that it just affected me quite a bit, lah, basically. Yeah, it, it, everything everything just suddenly like fell on my shoulders. You know, like last year alone, like I uh Malay call it tempa. Yeah, so it was the first time that I actually uh customized Bajuraya for my family with Nazri. Yeah, you should check it out. Yeah, it was beautiful, gorgeous. But the amount I paid for was like, I've never paid for such amount for just baju kurung before. But I wanted it to be special because, I don't know, it just felt like I wanted something nice for them. Yeah. But how's the yeah. preparation this year then? Haven't even started, bro. <laughs> the house is still a mess. You asked Ariana, she was just there. Maybe it's Ariana's fault. Because <laughs> 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 she's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what yes. other memories that you guys have from Hari Like, the good ones first. Let's start the good mm-hmm. ones. Um, for me, I grew up with my other six siblings. And so when we were all younger, the feeling is much more... How to say? Uh, Are you the youngest? No, I'm not. I'm like somewhat... You're the only girl, right? No, no. <laughs> 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 my sister's gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Number five. Okay. Out of seven. So yeah, that thing when we were younger and we all like went to our cousin's place, like as a whole family, the feeling is very nice lah. But oh. right now after they all got married and got their own house, the... Oh my God, I don't want to cry. Ah! Yeah, the feeling is different now. Definitely. Yeah. Why is it different? <laughs> Because we grow up, we fight a lot, but at the end of the day, we still love each other, like you guys. And when they got married, I feel like I didn't cherish the times that we spent together when we were kids. So, ah, thank you. <clears throat> it was all nice like, back then when we were kids, but we fight a lot. Just that now growing up, I just feel like 
I would have cherish all the moments you had uh, when we were younger lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then now oh my god. That's so sorry. It's okay. <sighs> to be honest, I feel lonely lah. Yeah. Can we skip to the next person? <laughs> no, you don't have to feel lonely. I mean <sighs> so so who who are like you you said you are you have seven <clears throat> In total, right? All mm, of you? And yeah. now, like, how many are not married? Just me and one more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess... Um, I... I could... Maybe imagine how it feels like. You know, because... You know, when we go visiting, it's always like going as a family. Mm-hmm. And... When you go in as family, you you always like wear the same color. Yeah. Mm. And then after that, it's like one by one having their own family, and mm. then they go with their own family. So it's like, yeah, it's it's. I have a question though, like yeah. being who we are and what mm. we do mm-hmm. when we visit other families. <laughs> do you feel like you are being judged the moment you reach the house, just because of um they know what you do. Mm-hmm. You mean like back then or like now? Like, I mean, maybe even now, like when you go visiting like as a family, it's supposed to be a joyous occasion. Yeah. But it's something that I just can't help but feel the moment we step into the house, mm. they're just going to take one look at you and then they're like, e. mm. Yeah. Do you feel that? Mm, I for... don't feel that. Uh. Yeah, Sorry, I don't yeah. feel that. Like I feel belong because mm. I think they, they don't really care the part where... Um, I am the way I am because I was like this since young. Mm-hmm. So I've been like talking to my cousins the same way like every time. Uh, and most of the time I would stay silent lah because for me it's like if there's no need to uh, communicate then there's no need to. Mm-hmm. But then if like happy times like happy like it's just that we see each other because you know it's only once a year kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For me I feel like I'm only affected by one aunt Mm-hmm. Because um she was the closest to my late dad mm-hmm. and she practically raised me also. There was a period of time where she raised <coughs> us, me and mm-hmm. my sis. Mm-hmm. So there was one time where um I posted a picture of me kissing a guy mm-hmm. and then she actually printed it out. <gasps> what? And then she it's in A4, uh, the picture. <laughs> and she just smacked on the table and she asked my sister, Are they gay? Eh? In during her raya. Uh, no, it was before her raya. Oh my god. So my sister just like Huh, I don't know lah, up to him lah. Like, she, she just tried to like, divert and yeah. then like, avoid the question and everything. So when she came home, she told me about the whole situation. And before that whole saga, I was actually, okay, I was on good terms with her mm. and her late husband. Mm. But when that whole thing happened, right, I just felt like that relationship that I once had mm. because I grew up with her, mm-hmm. everything just like, gone. Gone. Yeah. yeah. So like, I didn't know how to face her after knowing that she was questioning that and then like I know for for sure that she's not accepting of it yeah. because she's very very they are both very religious mm, yeah pious. like I was I, I it's not the right thing to do but I felt like I was forced to pray every single day like yeah. I was forced to wake up at five to pray mm-hmm. that kind so if it I think that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't say it stirred me away but it rubbed me the wrong way so like I didn't really felt like you get into it yeah yeah so like but then now i cannot even like celebrate high raya and mm-hmm. cherish the moments we had mm-hmm. because she raised me you know yeah yeah because when i was in when i was very young i remember like my parents they were both working mm-hmm. so me and my sister lived with her and her hus- her late husband mm-hmm. so we grew up there like we were quite smart for kids because of them. They were very strict. We studied every day. Yeah. Like I go for religious classes and all that. So now I, I, I don't even feel like I... Like when it was her birthday, I, I didn't even like feel like I can text her. Like I want to, but I feel like I can't. Right. Yeah, so I felt like I lost a relationship just because of that. And now Hari Raya just feels different. Because that was the one house that I could just be happy at. But now I just can't. Hmm. It's a bit <clears throat> controversial, can't it? It is, it is. But I feel, I feel you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, do you face? Can, I cannot hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no, like, like I grew up with my aunt, ma, mm. but I treat her like my mother yeah. also. So I think after <clears throat> after 2013, mm. I think yeah, I lost my mom. You guys know, right? You got to see Mister Mubang. So I think my coping mechanism has always been like laughing and smiling my way through. Mm. But I think that's like the the craziest part of my life, uh, like mm. trying to overcome the the struggle of that, like losing someone. I'm not crying, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> it's more of like now, you know, like today shoot, right? Like like last week was her nine year, like passed away. So. Mm. I haven't been coping well in a way that like I keep on remembering her. So it's really hard for me to like celebrate Raya <coughs> like without her. Yeah. So it really kills me every single time lah. Like when it comes to fasting man, you know, like you remember all the mm. times where for myself like she cooked good food for myself for the family. <coughs> like you even know like I stayed over at Farah's place for a month or so during uh fasting man so it really affected me a lot in a lot of ways lah. yeah so i just wish like for you guys out there like you guys should really cherish your time with your loved ones ah. because i think once they are gone like your your whole world just not there anymore like hari raya is not meaningful anymore for you guys so it's really heartbreaking because it's supposed to be a celebration. Yeah. But instead, like, you know, every year you've been crying and crying. And you keep on asking, like, God, like, you know why you took away my love one? When that's the only place of love that you want to go to every time. Yeah. Then you, you left with nothing. Uh. I think it's it's something very Ramadan is something very special because mm. I from my understanding is Ramadan is when the those who have passed will come back home <clears throat> to visit the family yeah. and a few days ago um, when I was sleeping then my new cat uh, was just meowing at the door so I turned my back and I saw a white figure facing the door mm. looking down and then I just turned back but then it hit me, it's Ramadan, mm-hmm. there's no um, evil spiritual beings. So I was like, wait, that could be my late dad visiting. Because yeah. the moment I turned and saw the white figure, I turned back, my cat stopped meowing. And then I was just like, okay, I think he's visiting. Yeah. And then I was just, I was, I was shocked, but it was not the scared shock. It was more of the calm yeah, because I think I felt the presence and it's not the first time that I felt his presence during Ramadan so I, I, I didn't know how to tell my mom because it's something that we don't exactly talk about because every time we bring it up it's just a very um, it's just very heavy lah. and now that my sis is back I have not even like spoken to her about it also mm-hmm. And I, I believe she has her own um, guilt. Yeah. You know, and if I were to tell her that, oh, I, I think he's here. Like, I don't think mm-hmm. it would help the whole situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now every Raya is just very different because we, the the last day of Raya, the, the moment the Takbir hits, oh. the... Yeah. The whole family just we just I don't know, we just yeah. have our moment and then we will just um stop <laughs> eating, then we'll just like go into our own rooms. It's just that moment of realizing that he's no longer with us. And um I think up till today, la, my biggest regret was still um not being able to um have one um <coughs> salam raya with my leg that so I think that was like the most painful uh, part f- for Raya for me. So now like every morning of Raya, 
I would just play his songs. Yeah. And as much as it affects the whole family, it's just... It's just a beautiful feeling to be able to hear his voice again because I don't want to um, reach to a point where I forget what um, he sounds like. Yeah. And I don't want um, Inda to not know who her grandfather was or what he sounded like because his his voice is just beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So, Raya has just been a very... Um, different ever since he's gone yeah it, it um it actually sort of like hit me that you know like i mentioned just now earlier like as kids you know we get to taste the joy of her raya you know like especially the last day of fasting and then you know the next day is going to be her raya is very happy occasion <laughs> And for me, I went through that journey until about like I was 10, 11 ish. And then, you know, the, the family starts falling apart. You know, uh, but I always look forward to Haraya, you know, early in the morning, looking at my mom's face, uh, and my dad's face, and my brother's face, my sister's face. You know, like we're obviously pre preparing to, you know, in our Haraya clothes. Um, and now I don't get to feel that anymore. Um, because it just, it, it was just broken. Um, and it's always me and my mom for, for most of the time because of selfishness, of unfaithfulness, of evil doings to, to the family, hurting the whole family, and they don't think of the consequences you know, that the other family members is going through. So it's just very sad. For, I think, I, I don't know, for the past 10 years plus, maybe, it's just very sad on the last day, especially when you say takbir is a very emotional time. And for me to just break fast with my mother and just myself and my nephew, and then I see, like, the other seats are empty when I can imagine my sister and my brother and my father there, but I don't get to feel that anymore. <laughs> It's just very sad and every cousins that come to your house and visit, it's like, oh, you got to take care of your mom. You got to take care of your mom. It's your responsibility. But at the end of the day, it's like whenever I go to your house, your hate on me because of who I am. It's not my fault that I'm like this. And Hari Raya is supposed to be a, a joyous occasion when we come together. I want to taste that joy, happiness again, but now I can't because y'all always give me this very uncomfortable conversation that I do not want to engage with. It's not my fault that my dad did what he did. It's not my fault or my mom's fault that my brother did what he did. It's not my mom's fault or my fault that my sister did what she did. So that being said, I think at this age, I feel like, you know, I don't know if my cousins or my aunts or uncles have been watching this, but back then you all have been saying shit about me. It's coming up with stories that I sell myself in Orchard Towers, that shit is bullshit. No, you know, I come to your house respectfully and just to celebrate as like a family together, you know. It's her, right? For goodness sakes. It's all about forgiveness. And yeah, just, so I am not sorry that I don't step into your house anymore because, yeah. Wow, it's, it's, it's such a heavy topic. But it is. Yeah, it is. It is. yeah I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a struggle that we don't talk about often. You know, and it's, I feel like it's important for us to bring it up because I'm pretty sure there are younger ones who might experience this one day and at least it they, they can look at this and know that there's someone who's going through this or who have went through this, you know. And look where we are now. We're successful. I mean, these people don't um, justify where you're going to end up in the future. They don't 
they don't justify how successful you can be. It's all in your hands. Because yeah. as much as they can talk shit about us, they can make up stories, we know what we are doing is honest and right. We don't we don't steal, we don't rob. Yeah. You know, we we're literally working. It's it's an art form that you might not understand, but at the end of the day, it's work to us, you know? Mm. So just because you don't see it as a regular job doesn't mean it's not. Yeah. yeah. We do what we can to put food on the table. So yeah. you are in no <clears throat> position to say that it's right or wrong. Because I think if if your own child is gay, then what? You, you don't let them work and be a drag queen if he can earn big bucks no right i mean that being said also i i mean we still do celebrate Hari Raya yeah. with an open heart of course because it's a celebration yeah. of, of you know and also it's a forgive uh, it's yeah. time for forgiveness and mm. uh, really just at the end of the day just coming together as a family be it your chosen family or, you know, like friends or like really close families and relatives. So, yeah. Like even for me, first day of Raya, I think I will have like one or two relatives who are still in good terms with my family. The rest are just like friends who are family to me and my mom because my mom is like friends to all my friends. So, <laughs> my first day is now very different because it's not... Yeah. The house is not filled with blood relative, but it's with my chosen family. And at the end of the day, it's still a joyous occasion. Because yeah, yeah. they will come and enjoy my mom's good food. Yeah. yeah. And like the first day is always so emotional. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you ask. The salam, right? Yeah, oh. the salam. Um, you Do you all cry when you're salam? <laughs> That's why I say I don't like because I'm a cry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll never cry because that has always been like my coping mechanism. Like I will just act like I'm tough. But then like at the end of the day, like when you finish the whole day and then you s- start going back to your room, then everything just... is silent, then everything just sink in. Like, like because for <laughs> me, like I know that if I'm going to ask for forgiveness, like the next day I'm still going to make sins. So <laughs> I told my parents, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so like I, I can ask for forgiveness now, but then tomorrow, tomorrow if, I'm still gay. If I, if I <laughs> sin again, I going to ask for forgiveness because for my family we practice that when we do something wrong like we straight away ask for forgiveness afterwards uh. after we come down and everything so it's like not only for Raya lah mm. so because you know anytime you're gonna pass away then yeah. you cannot ask for forgiveness anymore that kind of thing so yeah but I think one of the most memorable moments I had with my late mom was like like it was this song I remember Kelly like you know every time Hari Raya like you guys will Get ready and everything, right? So, I will just basically like sit in the living room. Then I will just like picture how the past is. Mm-hmm. That you just like, mm-hmm. you know, like you just want to feel that. Uh, you just want to relieve the moment. Yes. Yeah. You want to feel that because you know you can't achieve that. So, you can only imagine in your head. Yeah. Like many times that, no, like this is a celebration. Then you keep on lying to yourself like, I really want to enjoy this moment. So like, you just lie to yourself again and again. Like she's, like for myself, like she's there with me. Then like, you know, like Maram Raya is always like very joyous. Yeah. And then like, she, like for my family, we won't go out. So first day is like, my cousins all will come over. So we cook for the fam- uh for our cousins. And like, there was this song that my late mom always here uh, which is Denang Perantau so she always tell me this song <laughs> <laughs> that one she put the mic to you she asked you to sing it's too heavy yeah it's too heavy uh, but that uh, particular song really like reminds her of like her parents mm. so now like that song really reminds me of her so much. Like, every time I just picture her, like, in the kitchen, just, you know, masa, very happy because she loved to cook. 
So that's why like, now I like to cook, right? Because I got her recipe and everything. And like, that's the only way for me to like, remember her. Like, the best that I can. Like, I just miss her so much. I'm so sorry, guys. But I mean, if you, you start to... You won't know how it feels when you lost your loved ones. Because it's the heaviest shit. Especially when you share that love, happiness since young. It's like, you just want to stay with that person till forever. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when you lost someone at a very young age, you do you imagine that, oh my God, the day is going to come like, this is what happened, you know? This mm-hmm. is what going to happen, mm-hmm. which is losing someone. Mm-hmm. So it's like, really like, reality struck you like, yeah. the bar boom. So you're like, ah, so fuck the shit. Like, really? So am I a character in a PlayStation? Like, living this life? Is someone controlling me? You start to ask that kind of question. But... So, uh... and you're just like, okay, I'm just going to live this life like for myself. Like, I'm just going to live this life like happily. Mm-hmm. Like, because like joining competition or whatever no longer worries me. It's more of like, Who's going next? So, <laughs> so it's, that's the most fucked up shit. You're like, okay, like inside your head, like when you walk into a room, and then you're like, okay, who's next? Huh? You're like, okay, I got to be ready mentally so I don't want to get so hurt. But then. <laughs> <laughs> See this is what I mean like Yeah I'm that That person So people would think like Oh I'm insensitive But no like Sometimes like This is how you, you cope, cope With mm. your darkness You know like yeah. Some people would cry 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 also nothing lah So <laughs> See like cry 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 Someone gonna help me No So you still gotta go through your bullshit So Just go through it And just be happy Like every occasion Try to be happy Even you cannot be happy Just try lah Just push <laughs> Happy Okay Then go Okay We wish We can only wish yeah. Yeah. A Merry Christmas we can- <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate the birth of you <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how we just went to like very dark and after that we got this dark because dark. Luna is in the cast <laughs> hence why is Luna thing yes oh goodness Beach. gracious oh. <sighs> okay I think wow. the biggest the biggest biggest takeaway from this <sighs> is that just appreciate what you have now yeah mm. yeah uh, forgive yeah. and let live mm. and then mm. just be happy because if yeah. there are people who won't accept you for you, there will yeah. still be your chosen family who will just love you for who you are. Sure that. Yeah. Just yeah. cherish every moment. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And ones. if you have that one family member, be it your sister, brother, or your relatives, or your cousins, or whatever, if that person really accepts you for who you are, truly who you are, really care and concern, really cherish that person. Yeah. Really cherish that person. Yes. That's all I can say. Everybody mm. take a deep breath. Fuck them when you can. <laughs> <laughs> you apologize oh now. You apologize oh now. Oh now. Oh you apologize now to him. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Fuck okay. them. Don't give them a chance. Like love them hard. I'm gonna move on so that this <laughs> this woman will stop talking. Oh my god. Let's talk about high raya fashion. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's move on from this. Um, all I can say yeah. is I'm very trendy because this is actually about you. <laughs> it's not about you, guys. It's, it's about you. It's about you. Okay. <laughs> all right. You see, even your baju you can be into yeah. a slim yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Mushy, mushy. Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good to wear some money. I'm gonna give this one. Ah. This is my accessories. This one, ah, this one. You just clip here to make it very. Ah. Trendy <laughs> Modern yeah, Fashion 2022 like Paper eh This tudung ah. Oh, okay, okay, thank you Next. So creative <laughs> Gila-gila <laughs> <That's not> Creative <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure We don't go out for Hari Looking like this mm. Even though we wish we could <laughs> No girl It's a lot of work <laughs> <laughs> What's your take on uh, our traditional Raya outfit as gays and as straight people like do you do you dress 
the very traditional kind that you know the typical boys would wear or do you push it over the edge and like I would wear something traditional like that very basic uh, because mm. hair is so so hot and so stuffy and you're mm. gonna jump house to house to house yeah. I like to wear something simple I like. don't jump like I drive there oh, of course yeah. like, <laughs> the, the only jumping is the pochong like. <laughs> Is you you right there? Do that afro hair? Um, actually, I I was just looking through because I'm looking for baju melayu this year. I'm like, if actually quite limited ah, our baju kurung for boys. For boys, yeah, yeah it is very limited. Very limited. Yeah. It's so basic. Yeah, you know, like last year actually, um, well, what's that fabric ah? Satin? No, um, the very Sudi. colorful one. Batik. High hydrocolic. 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 No, what the fuck? Hydropump. Oh. No. <laughs> Hydraulic. Hi- no, no, hydraulic. <laughs> Hypopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. whatever it is, it's like the very metallic. Can you know like our bag like that? Okay. Uh, iridescent. Thank you very much. Hi- hydro. Hypopotamus. <laughs> yeah, very iridescent kind of color. Yeah. I want to make it to Baju Corona last year, but didn't have enough money. Yeah. So then I'm like looking through this, uh, I'm like, hey, actually very basic one. Yeah, if you want to customize, it's so very expensive. Yeah, it is. So all you can do is just to put brooch. <laughs> That's what I can do. Put brooch. Really? Yeah, really to show that you're gay, put brooch. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so put brooch. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Killer, okay, quite true. I mean, what more is either like top and then just pants. You cannot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like top and a skirt. We got something. What can pretend is a skirt? I mean, that is again is basic. What. There's nothing yeah. more you can do with that something. Is either you wrap it or, or you put here. here. Or you, you cannot oh put it. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe! Maybe! Oh my god! Yeah. It's what? Like Rahima that. Rahim like that. A turban? Yeah. A turban. You can. No. Okay. So when you collect money, you just put inside. <laughs> and then we go bigger. Book it! But no, like, do, do you all not go like. Do you all not try to like customize and then like. I Make do it. Like I love Going out Wearing something different Right Yeah it's always I'm yeah. always something different Like one long much <laughs> yeah. like one, one god Like you just gotta You know The more your cousins Don't like Like what you're wearing <laughs> The more you give them Like <laughs> And fuck you, you. Like, How do you don't give a fuck you oh, like, Because right. you're this not gonna All of us wear Half only Actually yeah, yeah. Or baju kurang But then bodysuit type <laughs> oh, oh my god! Good chance. Good chance. What you gonna reveal, Kabayo? Yeah. Oh. Reveal. Reveal. When you want to salam, right? You reveal first, and then. Kasi show, eh? Kasi show. Kasi show. Kasi show. Kasi show. Kasi show. Okay, speaking of fashion, we've got all the girls to send in their best Raya outfits. Yeah. So we shall um. Rank them between halal and haram <laughs> okay. in terms of fashion sense, lah. Eh? Yeah. Ah, uh, ni orang Melayu kata ah, uh, cantik ke tak cantik, lah. Eh? Cantik. Mana pop lah. So I have the photos here with me. <laughs> okay, and the first riot outfit is from Anastasia. Oh, okay. See? Who is this, ah? Oh, Joy Eddie, ah. <laughs> Oh my god, Luna. You can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that. You say right. If you say the wrong thing, you must ask for forgiveness. Right yeah, now some, and then. Some Malay people, you call, you call, some Malay people go to you, you each other's house. Me you yeah. know who I am. You talk to me like this. I'm going to ignore what Luna just said. But okay, ladies. Yeah. This is um Anna's <laughs> baju from probably 10 years ago. Brown cow stunning. <laughs> Definitely not 10 kgs ago. Oh my god. She looks like she could be the wall. Eh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, interesting. I like it though. I, li- I like, I like got, the pattern. Got chains. Yeah. <laughs> handbag. <laughs> ah. No, there's handbag. Some people handbag. put chains. Handbag. Some people put brooch. Ma. Handbag. No, they're bondage. <laughs> they're bondage. <laughs> Can it's handbag. Handbag ah. Because cannot pecah lubang, so hide the handbag at the back. This one not pecah lubang. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh handbag. It's handbag. Okay lah. Cuties, cuties, cuties. I love it. It's like uh, how old is very, it? I think it's one twelve. Mm. Very young, young gay boy. They want to like eh. Hey, yeah. I, I want to try this ah, uh, but 
Yeah. This is clearly customized. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can find this at bazaars. I think yeah. the fabric looks fierce. Yeah, yeah the fabric is perfectly nice. Perfectly. Yeah. To the board, eh? And the designs are not bad. It's like whoop whoop. Yeah. So is this halal or haram? It's halal. It's halal. 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 halal, halal. halal. Very Definitely nice. Very nice. Bacus, bacus, bacus. The next person so nice. is. Come on. Who this? <laughs> who is this? I don't know who this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Which one is it? Wait, Vincent here. <laughs> Vincent. Eh? <laughs> Who is that? Vincent? I don't know. <laughs> it's me. Oh. <laughs> Wait, this one abang abang kompang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This Why one is so the kompang boy, no? This. <laughs> so like kenduri kenduri ada. <laughs> yeah. Kendarat ada. This one is school uniform or what? What all same? What cici ko eh? Cici ko? No lah, this one. The siblings lah. Oh, it's family photo. Ah, Chico Pe. Oh, yeah, that's the brother. Which one? The cute one. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The one IG. IG. I don't know. <laughs> IG filter. So, we're going to uh, toot and boot the brother or him? I think. <laughs> hey, the yellow one handsome. See. <laughs> Guys, we need yeah. to focus. Okay. This one. Oh, my God. Mm. You can find at Bazaar This Gila. is very can. traditional. Yes. Very traditional. Very, very nice. Very I love okay it. La. Very deep pop. Okay lah. This is very much um, the typical abang-abang. Giving me out. This one you haven't come out yet. Confirm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the song? Not yet. <laughs> what, what, what vibe is he giving you? Missy Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Why lah? Why? It's the baggy look. Like, ooh. Who knows? Okay, in terms of fashion, is this halal or haram? Halal lah, traditional lah. La. This, this is too halal already. Yeah, yeah. Halal. So I want to find wife, you know that kind of thing. Yeah. Then after that, find wife really, then the next day find guy. Oh, <laughs> I, I won't be surprised like, when it comes to Ariana. <laughs> And the next person is. Wow, so handsome! Wow, Amy Fendi, Amy Fendi, this is giving me like this wow. is giving me Friday prayer vibes. You know, like five times a day. You know, like pray. I told every you day. I like it simple, right? This is giving me blue clues. Blue clues. Like, blue clues. <laughs> you no, know, it's she. He's wearing blue. <laughs> nah, no, it's like the hanji. You think it's dog? Blue clues. Blue clues is dog. What? You know the guy. Steve. Steve. Steve Austin. Oh, I thought Steve, Steve Irwin. <laughs> Where is this going? Steve Irwin. 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 Oh, the crocodile hunter, right? Yeah. I will. People call this boy the rat. Boy, it's a boy. Okay, like giving me very decent, like Anastasia just now, like that. Very like footballer look, ah. Huh? <laughs> footballer look. Go. Footballer, like much like footballer post. Okay lah, okay lah. Very decent lah, very decent lah, very decent. This one like much um, like very virgin gay boy like that. Want to go out find daddy like that. Mummy actually. <laughs> <laughs> so is this halal or haram? Halal, halal. If this one my cousin, I'll be like, eh, eh, ade, ah, ah, ah. Buke bintang. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think I think it's just the, the raya mood. They're being very nice, you know. Okay, who's next? It's nice. I like it. Eh, this one. Oh, yeah. Alama, so nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Cool design. Fire oh. with the fun design. The gila. I love the fabric. I love Ooh. the fabric. This is very kampung plus traditional. They're like some combine. Kampung gay. Kampung gay. Kampung gay. Yeah. Like, like what the... Very silat. Persilat. Oh. Yeah. The kawin, the silat boys. Yeah. Is that yeah. your silat boys for the Arif punya <laughs> <laughs> wedding? <laughs> I notice ah, uh, all the <laughs> like from our community lah. Uh, there's something always on point one. Yeah. You know how, how they always tie into a bunga. Yeah. At the side, always very on point, girl. Do you flash after this? <laughs> Do you like? I never zip, so it's always out. Ah, oh, oh. I love it. Correct. It's nice, yeah. yeah. Is it tie dye? This is halal. For This me. is batik. Oh, I can't see. It's pastel batik from Nazris Ishak collection. Something. Wow, it's nice. Really nice. This is halal yes. muay halal. certified. Thank you very it. much. I will eat. Halal. Mu'is Thank you. Will approve. Yeah. See, don't even have oh, to ask. Approve. Halal. Mu'is will approve. Next one is... Who this? Alamak. Bro. The photo. <laughs> <laughs> this... Um, Johan. Johan. 
Johan. Alah, kenyo. Johan. Malaysia ada blue color or grey? Then, I think it's the one behind. The icon. Put the icon. Johan, the lucky duda dah nak satu. Divorce. Divorce. One kid. Yeah. No more wife already. We don't want that. Yeah. Left him. Left her. Because he can't drag me. <laughs> yeah, okay lah. It's cute. Okay. It's decent. Decent lah. It's decent. Very halal lah. But the blonde hair, give me like Chinese abing abing. Yeah. Well, she is. She is half Chinese. <laughs> but not abing lah. Well, maybe, maybe SG bing. <laughs> <laughs> Pulang jeng lah Halal lah Halal lah Halal lah Because got kid there Yeah, yeah. Kid okay. must stay kid lah If no kid she chop lah Eh lemah this one Who is that? Hyrudin oh. oh my god I thought it was somebody else I thought it was People call him Udin Mereka yeah. bang Udin ni Abang Udin ni I don't know I forget if I What kau yang kau bang Huh? No, this is I mix match one. They so got I use the and everything. Yeah? yeah, that one the formal one. Very formal? nice. Formal, formal corset. The the Malay dance one. one ah. Oh. Yeah, the the English one. The cover band. Uh, I don't know lah. Cover what? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, description below. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Guys. It's very open and open vibe. I love it. Open, it is. Open, eh? Yeah. It's it's very um. Very interesting, ah, yeah. the mix and match. Just now, Farah yeah. one is like kampung, right? Yours is like got class kampung one. Come what? Hey, uh, uh? you say no <laughs> class? No, you say very kampung, but silat one, what? This one is the higher you yeah. for the silat one. This is very koto, lah. Yeah, like, alala koto. 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 Ni macam koto. Koto. Our okay, ha- la. our halal this. Halal this. I will say halal for yeah. this. It's very, very halal. halal. I would nice. wear it. Halal. Yeah, but why the photo got come short? You kampung, I come short, man. <laughs> and the last. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? Present to you, X Men. Azizul Mahal. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? Sleeping. I was just sleeping because I was too tired. <laughs> Why are you sleeping in such a position? Because I'm tired and very itchy the balls. Oh. <laughs> Vogalicious. Yes. Hmm. It's still vogalicious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what happened. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. If not, I'll become salty. <laughs> Next! Oh, <laughs> okay! Yay! I will halal this photo. I will halal it because it's touching okay. the... Okay, um, yeah. So what's your verdict? Of course it's halal. It's halal. But she's I love the brooch. Touching the balls, you know, in front of everybody with hair raya. Oh. Okay, but we're talking about fashion lah, so okay, yeah. fine lah, halal. Halal, halal. Like everybody halal, they're boring no. Damn. It is halal what? Unless, unless this one lah, like this. Yeah, like this, this, this confirm is haram. <laughs> yeah. really confirm haram. This one, I always, if I want to wear this, I would want to tackle my, <laughs> my auntie <laughs> husband. <laughs> I want to eat his kueh. <laughs> How about that? Kueh what? Kueh ma? Ma no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I work motorboat. She's crazy. Oh She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, do you realize how <laughs> how we went so heavy to this <laughs> little thing? Oh my god, but I really do get horny when I go for Hari Raya. Oh my god. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Because no, sometimes our cousin doesn't want us to. Be. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, though. But we do not make any move. Like I do not make any move. It's just that I look only. Yeah, I think that's the part that freaks them out, babe. Oh, oh okay. okay. Are there any like cousins? You know when we go to our eh, when we go to our cousin's place, right? Yeah. Like you know some cousins that we used to be close, but not that close. And like eh, see them eh, wow, quite good looking, ah, my cousin. Can have you ever come across that? <laughs> Hmm. I, I do we really want to go there? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, Actually, I have lah, but Actually, I, I have don't la. like him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna name, but I'm not gonna name, yeah. but have lah. But have. Yes. Can. Oh my god. 
Cantik eh Fantasy kan Macam no, 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 no Just fantasy. pull me inside the bedroom <laughs> no And just tear my baju <laughs> korang <laughs> It's already torn like, <laughs> It's the other side no, It's the other side <laughs> <laughs> It means the other side It's what I'm preparing the other side Tear my baju korang This is what I tear myself Preview lah Dia macam preview Preview yeah. oh. hey, It's a halal occasion tau huh? Tuhan marah But both sudah It's so a halal celebration <laughs> Celebrate. Celebrate. <laughs> you one man cannot <laughs> come, cannot hold in. So one man, pam. Hari raya, give all out. That's why you just feel like, just pull me. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. My cousin, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I hope um, the viewers uh, oh learn a thing God. or two from today. Mm. Uh, please learn only the good stuff and the correct stuff, yeah. Thank you. Uh, don't learn anything from lunatic because um, she is just lunatic. Correct, <laughs> yeah. So uh, you can comment down below on your own uh, memories, yeah. your good times, your bad times, what you've experienced during Hari Raya, and yeah, let us know. And then um, probably Who's we'll discuss redang? it in another video. Who's rendang one? Mak kau pergi serunding Oh, 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 oh. Mak aku no, You got a recipe right? Like. I got I got Can, I got. can. Then you, you, Just tabu You can it. give my mother Then I'll I give you my Mak aku punya serunding <laughs> Oh my god Enough Behave lah You don't like But it's high royal Beauty must be happy We're trying to like You know Leaven the mood You know yeah. Happy by having fantasy Of the cousin Mom Oh. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> while we are busy thinking of cousins, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification button. Bye. 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 Salam, salam, salam.